Well, it's that time of year again. The Nebraska legislature is back in session, and once again, the issue on how to handle Nebraska's ever-inflating property tax is going to be a hot-button topic for senators and constituents alike. Nebraska's Legislative Revenue Committee announced it's been working on property tax relief proposal LB 974. The bill could increase state aid to schools by $500 million over a three-year period. The committee's chairwoman, State Senator Lou Ann Linehan, says this is an issue that's been a constant dilemma. We're increasing state aid to reduce the reliance on property taxes, which we've all heard for several years. Nebraska depends too heavily on property taxes to fund public K-12 education. So this is an effort to switch that so there's more state aid and less reliance on property taxes. Introduced by the Revenue Committee on January 13th, LB 974 has already made it through the first round of committee hearings. The legislation addresses school funding and at what levels property should be valued. Under the bill, property currently valued at 90% of actual value for purposes of taxes levied by school districts would be lowered to 85% for 2022 and following years. However, this is a four-year plan and adjustments may be needed. Every school district's valuations are going to change, so this is a four-year plan. So we have to guess how much valuations are going to go up and down over the next four years. We have to guess what their needs are going to be. And we don't guess, that's a bad term. But we have to estimate, and the people that do this have been doing it for a number of years, but it's still estimations. So that's why we have the transition aid in there to make sure if our estimates are off a little bit, we have money to make them whole. To put the problem in perspective, taxes enforced on Nebraska properties have gone up by more than $100 million every year in the current century. Past solutions included a property tax credit fund that has the state pay what people would owe. Currently, that fund is spending $275 million a year. Now, this is a subject we'll be keeping an eye on in the coming weeks as the legislative session draws to a close.